Good afternoon, folks. We've got three things here. Something that's not what it seems, something that was definitely something, and a possible CME coming for Earth. I posted this on Twitter this morning, and I asked everyone for help figuring out what it was. Looks like something to me. It's the sort of thing I'd be expecting to see from space radiation penetration into the storm system, creating a phenomenal excitement, similar to aurora, at the top of the cloud layers, driven, of course, by extra space radiation penetration due to the magnetic pole shift. Video of it didn't do much to quell those thoughts. But I am glad I asked for a group analysis because someone scouring the net had posted a mega rainbow spotlight show from just a few miles away at San Francisco State University. Same time, same colors. Yep, sometimes things are just simple and not scary at all. This, on the other hand, was real. I've seen hundreds of tornadoes on radar. I know what a bow echo looks like. This vortex on radar is something I have never seen before. Tornadoes don't usually continue producing that recognizable vortex up through the cloud layer. It's definitely not normal. However, I'm not quite enough of a tornado expert to say this is a brand new thing. This intensification of singular events is exactly what I was discussing in the afternoon video earlier this week, and the fact that we need to be on the lookout for such things right now is definitely part of the process. Now, luckily, this tornado happened kind of out in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, and there isn't much more information on this event. We have no definitive conclusion, but at least this was something, a powerful tornado, and it may have been more than just something. Lastly, folks, speaking of a lack of certainty, we still don't have definitive answers on this morning's CME. And CMEs are often hard to judge. All of our data is in 2D, but we need a 3D perspective to make a judgment call about an impact. And little spirals show nothing related to this event as of now. But here's the best we can do. Recall the event erupted just on the Earth-facing side of the sun near the limb, just slightly south of the solar equator. The CME is now fully visible on SOHO, and just as with this morning, we can say most of the blast is going to miss, but we could take a glancing blow off the edge of the eruption. First thing I do is I draw a center line. The eruption is visible to the left of the line, meaning a more than 90 degree expanse southward and nearly 90 degrees northward as well. A similar analysis can be made with a tilted line, and it does look like we can call it a nearly 180 degree blast. If that is the case all around the CME plasma cloud, then we will be taking a glancing blow. I'd say I give it about a 50-50 shot, and if it does hit, we are likely to get low-level geomagnetic storms. We won't know that until Friday night or Saturday morning. Subscribe, and I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.